Hey, is that the wolf's den right there? Oh, that's a pretty fancy den right there. That's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, can we get over there? No, we cannot. All right, well, chat, we tried our best. <laughs> He's out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me get myself out of here. Let me get myself out of here. Can I see? E -E? You know, I am kind of curious, though. I was talking about how, you know, I like to replay Fable, Halo, and then Twilight Princess every year. Is there any game that anyone here likes to replay every now and then? Like, for me, of course, Fable 1, I, Fable 1's the better Fable, in my opinion. Fable 2 and 3 are okay. Well, Fable 2 is good. Fable 3 is eh. You know what I mean? But, like, Fable 1, Lost Chapters, that's my baby. <laughs> Twilight Princess, of course, as you know, I don't care what version. It's the best version. <laughs> And then, of course, for Halo 2, I kind of like the Xbox One remaster, though. I think the remake of Halo 2 looks the way that my nostalgic brain looked at it when I was a kid and how my nostalgia sees it as, a, as like, an adult. So, like, you know, whenever I go back and play those games, I kind of like to play it on that version. I don't know how I feel about Fables, though. I kind of like the OG almost as much as I like the remake. I, I don't really, like, I don't think the graphical changes are enough to make me like one more than the other. You, come here. Metroid, Need for Speeds 3, Carmageddon, Midnight Club, some of my few comfort games. Ooh, I've played, I played Midnight Club. I've not played Carmageddon and Need for Speed or Metroid. But I do know about Metroid, of course, because I want to play through the series. Need for Speed, I played Need for Speed Underground 2. That would be my comfort racing game. Nostalgia Brain is a real thing. It is, though. It is. Rose Tinted Goggles. <laughs> they be there for a reason. Your delivery Hi. is complete. But also, to be fair though, for Fable in particular, Fable and also Halo 2. <laughs> and also, also Twilight Princess. They're like the top tier of their things, you know what I mean? Like Halo 2 is the best Halo in my opinion, hands down. I would say um, Fable 1, it's magic system and it's storytelling. Like Fable 2, people consider that to be the, the better Fable, but it runs at a worse frame rate. The story is basically Fable 1 revised. And so... The magic system is way worse as well. Everything's a circle move. Versus in Fable 1, yes, there was some magic that was completely OP. But if you wanted to experiment, that option was there for you. You know what I mean? I have the Japanese voice pack on LEGO Star Wars. Oh, in case I want to go full anime. Oh, that's why he said never go full weeb. Have you? How does that sound? Wait, Joby, how would that even sound? Wait, how would that? I don't know how I feel about that. Nostalgia Brain carried me hard when replaying Maple Story. <laughs> That's a good, that's a good, good reason. You know what I mean? Here's what Fixing I it. Yeah. So like, in Fable Two, they fixed they they fixed the magic system to where it was a little bit more like uh, everything was a circle attack. Versus in Fable One, mind you, there were some OP things that they could have like messed with. But also, I want to say like it was more experimentative, and you can do things a lot better. Where is? But I guess my most recent comfort game per se would be Need for Speed Undercover. Since I'm fix oh oh that's me by fixing it. I'm fixing it along with a group of buddies. Oh, you're modding it, aren't you? Like you're doing like different overhauls on the graphics for it. I imagine Japanese Darth Vader would be scary. Really? I don't know. I can't see a Japanese Darth Vader being scarier than like base Darth Vader's voice. You know what I mean? Also, you know something that's really funny and interesting. Speaking of Darth Vader, so you know the person who acted Darth Vader is not the same person who voiced Darth Vader, correct? Right? Well, so the person who was in the Darth Vader suit still had to read the lines out for people and so when people were uh so like when you think about it like there's videos of youtube on youtube about this where people are playing ooh, a horsey good luck to those who want it so people who uh who were acting through the star wars trilogy right the og one when darth vader would speak it was a completely different voice that we would hear and there's video footage of the og uh actor's voice coming out and it sounds so different and it changes everything like it <laughs> like darth vader does not sound as intimidating when you listen to the original voice because it doesn't have that that deepness to it you know what i mean it doesn't sound as menacing so it's pretty interesting to think about does the new game have legit voices instead of noises? All the LEGO games do, uh, Moon. Ever since, I want to say, like, Batman 2, they introduced voice acting to LEGOs, and they never went back. But for the Skywalker Saga, for the new one that came out that has episodes 1 through 9, those games have the grunt option. You can go back to LEGO grunts, which I appreciate more because I feel like the visual storytelling in LEGO is what makes LEGO games LEGO games, right? Voice acting, cool, but LEGO games, better. Wait... Why? Wait, my joke. What happened to your joke? Wait. What do you mean? Wait. I didn't see the joke. Wait. Imagine. Wait, hold on. Horsey? Yes, he did. Oh, he didn't know that he was going to be the voice actor at the time. Yes, I remember he didn't either. Wait, where's your joke, Wolf? I see the nostalgia one. Oh. Oh, I missed this one. You know, I'm the reason the English changed the A in Denmark to an E. It's a Wolf's Denmark. Oh, no. Because it's Den. Oh, no. <laughs> wolf. Oh no, I see the joke now. 
I'm sorry, I missed your joke until now, Wolf. Wolf, what's your comfort game? Besides Celeste and Twilight Princess, do you have another one? I'm curious. And also, nice catch, Akira. Thank you for the gold. The quest fragile delivery three is complete. Thank you, ooh, ooh. All right, let's get out of here. I need to do some main story stuff. My brain is itching for it. Can we go? Since I saw episode seven through nine, I'll probably play those in mumble mode. Honestly though, I never even saw episode nine. I saw seven and eight and I was so disappointed with nine. I'm sorry, with eight. Like seven was okay. It played it safe, whatever, not mad. Uh, eight did like, hey, you like Star Wars? Well, I don't, I'm gonna change some things. And I'm like, eh, okay. And then I heard what happened in nine. Like I just heard about the villain reveal and I was like, hmm. I'd rather not watch that and get disappointed. I won't lie. <laughs> so I just basically watched like a th like a video talking about it. Thank you, JP. Of course, Akira. Ooh, a weeping bell. Good luck to those. That's for that's for Wolf. <laughs> oh. Oh, you talking about Yuna? I'm sorry, Yona. <laughs> oh, I have seven on Blu-ray. Like I said, seven's not bad. I think seven. I think people maybe not. People don't like seven as much anymore because seven was like depending on how the other ones launch. Like, that would reflect the quality of Seven, in my personal opinion. Because Seven's the one that set up the trilogy, right? The sequels are bad and had a lot of plot that could have been better. Ye I think Seven was fine, though, right? But I think... I think Eight ruined whatever Seven was trying to set up, and then Nine had to stitch together the remnants of Seven and Eight. Uh, Seven and Nine made One to Three a lot better in comparison. That they did levitate. It's crazy how much more people appreciate the prequel uh, trilogy now, now that the sequel trilogy came out. <laughs> I'm gonna break you your besides Celeste rule and say Celeste because that's 100% my comfort game. Oh no, that's why I was like, is there any other game that you play besides those?